So taking a moment to arrive in this space here, laying back in your comfortable nest that you've built for yourself, allowing your hands to fall out to the sides if that feels comfortable. And remember that this practice of yoga nidra is about receiving rather than doing. There's no effort. The effort that it took you to be here and set up your props and lay back is all that's required of you. Now you can just be. And if you haven't already done so, you can allow your eyes to close gently. Throughout this process, I'll offer you some different anchors for your focus, things to notice, things to visualize or imagine. Know that each one of these anchors is optional. You might be with me the whole time and that's fine. You might zone in and out and that's fine too. You might even fall asleep and that is fine. All of these experiences are welcome and trust your body and mind to give you what you need from this practice. Allowing the physical body to land here, feeling the support of the earth below you, taking notice of the places where your body is touching the ground. Can you allow your muscles and bones to become heavy? Feel the weight of your body sinking into the earth below you. Surrender your muscles, sinking down, melting off your bones into the support of earth. Allowing your tissues to soften. Taking notice of your jaw and allowing it to soften. Releasing your shoulders. Releasing any patterns of holding. Really feel that pull of gravity as your body grows heavy and releases into the support below you. Let's start first with our imagination. Call to mind a place where you feel most at home the most comfortable to be yourself. It could be any place. It could be outdoors or indoors. It might be a place you know really well or a place that you make up in your mind. Whatever place comes to mind when you hear words like comfortable, ease, this is the right place for you. And now that you're here, let's use all of our senses to make this place come alive. Notice what there is to see. If there's a sound to be heard in this place, can you hear it? Is there a texture to feel or a quality to the air in this place?
Is there an aroma or a scent to this place? Using all these senses to paint this place to life. From here on out, this place will be your home base. Know that this place is always here for you. So if at any point during this practice, you feel lost or uncomfortable, you can always return here. And know that you're practicing in a safe place. I'm here to hold the space and I'll be keeping the time. So you can allow yourself to feel absolutely cared for. And allow yourself to release into the experience. Notice in this moment where your attention is landing. Perhaps it's in the tips of your fingers or in the lifting and falling of your tummy as you breathe. Or maybe it's up in the skull as an audience to a talkative mind. Wherever your awareness is, can you gently nudge it towards the heart? Your spinal column serves as the perfect bridge between heart and mind. Use it like an elevator shaft to move down away from the busy mind. Step on in and ride it down the back of the throat, down past the collarbones and deep into the rib cage, landing yourself in the center of your heart space. From here, take in the scene. Do you notice a specific color or texture or even temperature? Observe the heart space with an abundance of kindness and an abiding curiosity. What's going on in there? Listen to the phrase, I am. I am. And repeat it a few times silently to yourself. I am. Allow the heart center to complete the sentence and know that whatever comes to mind is correct and true. I am love. I am peace. I am vital. 
I am whole. Listen again and ask, I am. And let your heart center respond. Perhaps you received many responses. Or perhaps tonight your heart is quiet. Both are okay. If you heard many responses, choose one to carry forward with you. Or if you're open to it, you can use the one that I'm offering here, which is, I am wholly whole. I am wholly whole. And we'll carry this affirmation into the depths of the practice. This is much like planting a seed and knowing that it is landing in fertile ground. This seed will flourish. Please repeat your intention quietly in your mind three times. And if you're using the one I've offered, it is, I am wholly whole. I'm going to lead you through a body scan. Your task is very simple. As you hear each body part named, simply land your awareness there. Bring your awareness to the throat, the tongue, your teeth, gums, the jaws, your lips, lower lip, upper lip, your face, your nose, your right eye, left eye, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, your neck, your right thumb, right first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, the whole right hand, left thumb, left first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, the whole left hand, right wrist, left wrist, right elbow, left elbow, the trunk, right hip, left hip, right thigh, left thigh, right knee, left knee, right lower leg, left lower leg, right ankle, left ankle, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, 
pinky toe, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, pinky toe, and the root center between your sitting bones. Notice your natural, easy breath. Steady, unforced breath. Feel the breath flowing through you easily, rhythmically. Now imagine the breath flowing in through the soles of your feet, as though your feet were open like a mouth, drawing breath in. And as you inhale, breath flows in through the soles of the feet, up through the ankles and calves, feet and lower legs filled easily with breath. Breath flowing like a wave. Inhaling through the soles of the feet, filling the feet, the calves, the thighs and hips, filling your lower body with easeful breath. As you inhale, sense your breath's steadiness and smoothness, expanding upward and outward. And as you breathe out, feel it radiating back downward filling your whole body with a sense of steadiness and ease. Feel the rhythm and ease as the steadiness permeates your whole being. Begin to notice sensations. Feel the body in connection to the earth. You are grounded. You are contained and holding potential, much like a small seed. Feel your body grounded on the earth.
Now awaken the feeling of spaciousness. You are spacious and ever expanding. Your limbs reach out from the torso and the boundary of you blurs as you swell towards the four corners of the room. Feel your body spacious. The body is grounded again, formed within the confines of your skin and body, connected to the earth, small and confined. And now the body is expansive and expanding. Feel the real estate that you're occupying grow and take up space. Body expanding. Dance between the two. Body is grounded and contained. Body is expansive. Small and earthbound, ever reaching, ever growing. Can you hold the two? Can you be both grounded and expanded? How does it feel to hold these two qualities in one body? Picture yourself walking now, walking barefoot towards an open meadow. This place is sparsely populated, so there's nothing to see in the distance other than open air. As you tread more deeply into this field, you feel the blades of grass becoming taller and taller. 
Brushing first your ankles, then your knees, even touching your hips in some places. The earth below your feet feels supple and alive. As you walk a bit further, you find a clearing. You take a seat and then lie down. The view above is that of a clear night sky. It's so clear that even the stars have yet to come out. Settle into your resting place here and close your eyes. Notice that behind your eyelids, you can see the same blue black sky that existed when your eyes were open. This internal sky is just as vast and open as the one you're lying beneath. Keep watching this space, allowing your eyes to adjust to its vastness. Step into the role of the witness. Can you watch this space without any expectations? Be present and be patient. Perhaps something appears, maybe shapes or colors or patterns. Perhaps you can be open to witnessing other things like emotions or sensations or memories. Watch whatever may arise in the same way you would observe a painting or a landscape or the open sky. Watch with abiding curiosity and a generous serving of kindness. Simply watch. dark, rich earth, 
elephant walking, full moon rising, cedar tree, mountain range, planet earth from above, the smell of wet dirt, feet standing in mud, a deep well. The process of yoga nidra is much like preparing a plot of land to become a garden. Know that your garden is tended, tilled, and ready to receive. Now there's nothing to do. Simply drop your seeds and allow them to flourish. Repeat your intention three more times. And now it's time for us to make our return. We'll come back very slowly and gently. And in the same way we started. Opening to sensations and feeling the places where your body is in contact with the earth. Allowing the breath to begin to deepen and using it to breathe life back into the physical body. Your body is relaxed and laying on your couch or your bed or your floor. Begin to feel the container of your skin and your clothes and the borders of your body. Feel the temperature of the air as it hits your skin. Notice the heaviness of your body as it rests on the floor. Before opening your eyes, visualize the round, the, the room surrounding you. The four walls, the ceiling, the floor. Imagine where you are in the room and the other objects and things that are around you.
And we'll start slowly bringing some movement back to the body. Maybe wiggling your fingers and toes. Maybe doing some circles with your wrists and ankles. And if it feels right, you can throw your arms up overhead. Do a nice full body stretch. Moving in whatever way feels good to you right now. And once you're ready, tuck your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. And then turn over to rest on one side. Opening the eyes here if you haven't already. Taking your time, there's no hurry, there's no rush. And recalibrate here. When you feel the internal cue, you can push into the ground with your hands and come up into a seated position. And if you'd like to continue to just lay where you are, that is absolutely fine too. And for those of you who have come up to meet me in the seated position, we'll just close our practice, bringing one hand to your heart and the other hand to the floor or bed or ground beside you. And taking one more deep breath in through the nose and sighing it out through the mouth. Thank you so much for coming on this Yoga Nidra journey with me. As I mentioned before, please feel free to just close your laptop and flow into the rest of your evening. This is a practice I'm going to be offering the first Thursday of every month. So we will be able to come back together and meet up again. If you have any questions about what you just experienced or anything at all, you can always email me. My email is annemarie at embodywellness.ca and I'll put that in the chat in case anyone wants to contact me. And have a wonderful rest of your evening. You're welcome, Sasha, thanks for coming. You're welcome, Diane. Good night, everyone. So taking a moment to arrive in this space here, 